Welcome to the living room of Pickleball Party Town. This is the recap of RHOC episode 15. 15. I'm Rick. 15. I'm Kelly. Hi, Kelly. This was the best one out of anything I've seen in a long time. I have to agree. And because and Tony and uh, Rebecca are here, and they're like, there's a lot of moving parts here. <laughs> it is so good. And my best part yeah. of this whole show was... They show her, they had their mic on, they didn't have the camera. <laughs> they all hate me. I hate them. I hate every, all of them? I hate all of them. Don't worry, they hate you too. <laughs> <laughs> Heather I hate Dubrow. them. Heather, Heather, this is the breaking this, news. That Heather Dubrow is the biggest bully, Rick. Yeah. I had Megan Weaver and Ben watch that uh, Ireland trip. Uh -huh. She was the biggest bully. Uh -huh. She got her finger. She pointed at me. Ben said he's had to stop watching. He couldn't yeah, watch it. He, yeah. She was like this. You are trash. She, you are. I mean, look at what a hypocrite this chick is. Yeah. She is the biggest bully, and they all know it. And she hates them all. Well, breaking news. Heather they said all she's hate done. Her too. Heather said she was off the show. She's done with the show. So I You know, I told you guys, I don't know on your Smash or Patreon, but I told you guys. I said, yeah, because Thomas Kelly told me Heather gets her due this year. Yeah. And I said that to Vicky. What Thomas Kelly said, she said, Yeah, I witnessed it for myself. And this she's meaning this show. So it's finally happening. Um, yeah, and she said it was hard to watch. Uh-huh. Because even though we don't like her. It was hard to watch. Nobody should be that unkind to people. And um, well, I mean, don't think Heather wasn't unkind to people to start it. She was. She is the worst person. Yeah. No, no, no. no. I take it back. <laughs> the worst person on earth. Yeah. Is Tamara Judge. The second worst person is Heather DeBro. Well, we're gonna get into all of that. Uh, a couple quick uh, things. Ratings for last week's episode. I didn't even know. Episode 14. Um, it got a bounce. They were a point one nine demo and seven hundred ninety seven thousand viewers. They're Good. still in the sevens, but the high sevens. Yeah. And my prediction, and you may have heard it here first, they're going to get over a million viewers this week because of the Shannon Bedore situation. Guaranteed. Every, I have every outlet calling me. It is the craziest thing. If you want to hear Kelly's thoughts on it, we we don't want to, you know make a big deal out of it. But Kelly did talk about it on our Patreon. So if you want to subscribe to the Rick and Kelly show on Patreon.com. And we did not do an emergency one. No, but it was a special uh, report. Yeah, but I didn't post it on my uh, Instagram. Instagram to profit off of it. This no. is for my special Patreon people. So yeah. thank you guys so much for subscribing and thanks for supporting us. And subscribe here if you haven't yet. Uh, yeah, our subscribers are growing fast and we're getting a lot of views on our Daily Smash. This show is brought to you by Tequila Commissario. Which you may notice is on the table. Ooh, may I have a little uh, drink? Would, yes, would you like that one? And we drink responsibly. Reposado or Anejo? I'll do it. Anejo is my favorite. So, because it's bottled and aged. One of the water. things they do a lot of on the Real Housewives of Orange County is drink tequila. Yes. And because it is. It's the only upper. But this is the world's best tequila. It is. Tequila Commissario. The world's best. Oh, wait, best. I should cheers you, right? Yes. Or else it's seven years. If you sex. want to get yours delivered right to your door, and we highly recommend it, just go to tequilacommissario.com. Use the discount code Rick and Kelly ten. Cheers, my love. Cheers. Mwah. Mm. Okay. Now that I'm thinking about it, I always trash Gina Kirchenheyer's clothes. I always think they're the fugliest things on earth. I don't know where yeah. she shops, but I did like her outfits this. Oh, you did this time, but I can't look at her because she's like. <laughs> like this? Yeah. And the way she talks and then that 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 I just can't I don't like it. Yeah, I know you're and, not a fan. And she's like this. She I know she does Adderall. I know she does. Um, but she looks like she's cracked out all the time. Hi <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's like this. <laughs> that's that's good. Uh, I have one more thing to mention uh, before we get to our recap. If you're enjoying our content here, and if you like the Smash, and maybe you're a patron too, come see our live show in Detroit. It's yes. October 13th. It's a Friday night, a lucky Friday the 13th. 
Detroit just got rated America's best airport, by the way. <laughs> so there's a reason to go beyond seeing us, is you can check out America's best airport. But we're going to do uh, probably... Wait, what's your best airport you've ever been in? I love Orange County. Yeah. I do. I used to love Long Beach. And I love the marina. I love Air Long Beach. If you never... You should fly... Everybody should fly in Long Beach. It's like... Yeah. It's 50s? like it's like back in the like uh, catch me if you can days. Is that like what they, that. is that where they shot it? I, I don't know. I think because it so. kind of looks like looks the Marine like Air that. Terminal at LaGuardia, but it might well be Long Beach. It probably is. The Marine Air Terminal at LaGuardia is another one of my favorites. Uh -huh. You used to be able to walk in ten minutes before a flight and, and hop on a plane. In any event, uh, October thirteenth, Detroit, the Rick and Kelly Show live in front of a live audience. You can get your tickets at rickandkellydetroit.com, and we would love to see you and uh, meet you in person. And uh, entertain you. For What's the worst airport? I can tell you right now. Oh my God! Oh, wait, hold on. I have a couple. Houston, that thing is ginormous. Yeah. And Dallas. I've flown through both of those. I mean, they're worse, and they're, they're so big because they switch, and then you have to go on a tram, and it's like a, like a two hours away. It's, mm -hmm. That's the worst. Atlanta for me. Atlanta. I've had bad experiences in Atlanta. Both Dallas, Fort Worth. I don't like Miami, MIA. I'm not a fan of that airport. Everything is a like you said. Like, a ridiculous walk. It's always crowded. The, the terminals aren't wide enough, and it's packed all the time. Mm -hmm. The TSA lines are really long. I think Miami sucks. That, uh, a thousand standing around. <laughs> but Fort Lauderdale has a great airport, yeah. and West Palm's pretty nice. I mean, it's older, but it's I love easy. those. It's Even easy. Oakland in the hood. Yeah. It's awesome. Airport. I flew out of. Presque Isle, Maine once, which is like the highest corner of the country, right by Canada, very tip. It was the smallest airport I've probably ever flown out of. I think really? they had two gates. Smaller than Aspen? There was, yes. There was no snack bar. I think Aspen is the smallest I've ever been. Well, it's Presque like, Isle, like Maine. It's like an FBO. Presque Isle, Maine is even smaller than an FBO. There's a vending machine for a snack bar. There's two, I think there were two gates. Yellowstone was pretty easy, too. <laughs> yeah. We could go on forever on this. Okay. Okay, let's get to the show. Okay. Um, they're in Mexico. Tamara doesn't like Ryan. She tells Jen, who starts crying, and then I guess admits that, yes, he had a fling. She says a one-night stand, and he says a one-night stand. Mm -hmm. And then, I thought you were going to... Yeah. She talks to him on the phone, and, he, and she's very upset, and she's crying. I just want to know, do you think that relationship lasts no no way it's it's only sexual there's only chemistry mm -hmm. the guy's not loyal she's got a shitload of kids yeah like um i'm sorry that just is not a recipe of uh, no well vicky no. vicky confronts guy, her about what that seeing him like like i like don't know what vicky confronts her but that comes up a little bit later uh jen hates tamra they go paragliding and, um, oh, they go diving for turtles. But before that, Emily brings up Heather calling her a snuffleupagus and says it was an insult. What is worse? Tamara called her Shrek. The only reason I called her <laughs> Shrek was because Tamara said it first. And I didn't even know. Like, whatever. What do you think's worse? Being called Shrek, which is Fiona, is what she meant, or snuffleupagus? Which well, one's worse? I, I don't know Snuffleupagus, but it's a woolly mammoth from the Shrek from the Sesame seems Street. more. And I'm not. I I it think Fiona, Emily's a beautiful she's woman, a but Shrek seems more appropriate, like more accurate. Fiona and Emily. I'm sorry. I think that's I a think, more accurate. Yeah. Comparison. Now I think Emily looks like Kourtney Kardashian. Oh yeah. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Um, the best line I thought was Gina saying, "Heather doesn't mean to offend anybody. She just does it naturally." Yeah. She delivered that very well. And I know you're not they, a fan they, of Gina. They, well, no, they probably fed it to her. They do that from time to time. You think they, they gave her that line? Yeah, because she's like this. And her thing. <laughs> I can't think of that right now because I'm so cracked out. Right now. <laughs> yeah. So, so they go snorkeling. To, half of them go snorkeling to look at turtles. They jump in the water. Just a couple of them had a hard time getting off the boat. That was funny. I'm sorry. I don't know why they fired uh, uh Vicky. Vicky goes paragliding. Mm -hmm. They start screaming. And I do like Heather when she was saying, think of the office. 
What she was trying to this note? Like, calm it, like, her down. Yeah, calm her down. You're and, in the uh, Kodo yeah, office. Yeah, Erica, that was funny. With the with, with filing cabinets. I mean, that was funny. Uh -huh. I thought this episode, you guys, was so good and it was hilarious. So I asked Kelly, do you think Vicky was screaming for the cameras? Would she normally behave like that? Um, yeah. But I think she'll maybe a little but she's like that in real life. You know. You know her. Well, I know her, but I don't... But you know what? I, she was like, oh, listen, Mike was going, oh, my God. Like, <laughs> like remember? She got all, like... Yeah. Like, animated. Yeah. She is very uh -huh. animated. And then yes. she fell down. She was at my house a month ago, and she was riding bikes, and the bike was an electric bike, and it was heavy, and she's so clumsy, and that's She not, did. She fell. She fell. Mm -hmm. But then when we got there, she was like... And she wasn't drinking. She was like, whoa! And whoa! And, her, and Mike was like this. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I forgot about that. Um, she's loud and boisterous and a lot of fun. I'm a big fan of Vicky. And I don't know her nearly as well as you do. Uh -huh. But I like her. I like Mike, too. Um, but she was screaming like she was dying on this parasite. Yeah, it was so funny. It, it was, was funny. It was funny. Um, and then after they're done, they all do shots, including Shannon. And I'm like, okay, well... A lot of people are probably watching to see this very thing, to watch Shannon drink. Because, as you probably know, she got a DUI this week. And I believe that's why the ratings are going to go through the roof. Oh, yeah. Everyone's going to watch. And, and there are a lot of scenes of Shannon drinking. Right. They all drink. But the theme it is with, like... Speaking of which, let's have yeah. a sip of no, Tequila Commissario. But, but with... This is aged and bottled and it has, like, all the fruits and everything it's concentrated in, in this. And you sip it. Yeah. You enjoy it, yes. a good tequila. Yeah. You don't do shots of it. Well, they, they do a lot of shots on this show. They're like they're in a frat. It's or a sorority. A soror Sorry, sorority. <laughs> good point. <laughs> they wouldn't be in a frat. Well, maybe now they would be. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. There's all these kinds of weird things going so on. So <laughs> after the break, they all go out to dinner, and there's more drinking. And then you said, Taylor doesn't say a word. Why is she on there? Taylor is a friend of, and so is Vicky a friend of, but Vicky is the star. She goes in there and she is the star of mm -hmm. the show. Mm -hmm. And Taylor doesn't say a word. Could you imagine, Taylor's not only getting paid, but she gets to go on vacation and then she just can sit back and... I, I find that very odd and very strange. You don't think she's contributing? Maybe she is, but they could have been. Ed she could have edited her out because they didn't think that right. she was worthy. Right. Well, she's not. If she were contributing in a meaningful way, it would be in the show. Right. But I. This is the first time I've seen Gina contribute. Uh huh. To anything. It she, was pretty. I mean, she, she was. She she doesn't contribute that much. She was this, definitely today involved. She did. Well, I'm going to say this. Last season was painful to watch because Gina was kissing Heather's ass so yeah. hard, and she did a 180. Now she's going after Heather and calling her out, and other women too. And being very aggressive. But, but the, the thing with with, with 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 Gina is that she isn't friends. She she keeps mm -hmm. asking and planting that in your seat like we're stupid. Yeah. Like I mean, us viewers out there, and I know these people personally, but I know you guys aren't dumb. Like, what? Who are you trying to kid here, Gina? She doesn't hang out with you. She's not. You're not part of her social circle. She wouldn't call you and confide in you. Stop pretending and stop acting like you're friends. Oh, you get along for the show as co-workers, but you're not friends. Well, we're going to talk about that uh, coming up because it's the end of the, sh the big final scene is a big showdown between you know, on that very topic. But I also wanted to mention that Vicky, well, first it was funny. She uh, says she gets a massage. She pays 40 bucks for it. And tips, well, I was with her. I, I, and tips I, I 200. Have pictures. So... Well, she, does she get a happy wait, ending? Wait, no. Yeah, so when... No, this is the funniest story. So when I um, was with her, when we first started dating Steve, God, this is, has to be like almost 10 years ago, They she paid for this beautiful villa in Esperanza. I took you over there in Cabo. Yeah. And he's like, I don't like Mexico. I don't like Cabo. Um, and she's he's like, no, you go. And he broke up with her. And she took me. Oh. And it was this luxurious, awesome hotel on the ocean. It was sweet. And she's, she lay next to me, and we were laying out, and she's like, you know, she goes, I got the pellet. I got testosterone in me, and I'm so <laughs> horny. She's like, I'm going nuts. She's like, you know, I got a happy ending here. 
I go, you're kidding. She's like, I need to, I don't need to remember who. I swear to God. A dude. I, a masseuse. Yes, I've, I've spoke about this before. It was hilarious. She got a happy. Is that when she tipped the two hundred dollars? Yeah. Or is that like a regular thing? N no, but in Mexico she's got, a, <laughs> she's got a sore. But not there. In Have you ever done that? No, but I would want to if I was single. What? Okay, that's fine. Good answer. But it sounded, it looked like you were about to say yes. Like maybe, oh, you have? <laughs> okay. No! I'm going to get so not. mad. You should no. have heard Kelly earlier flirting with the uh, gutter guy on the phone, booking a gutter appointment and flirting with this guy. And I'm standing right there. I'm like, you're flirting with the gutter guy. He was, yeah. He was. And you're like, bring your hot crew. I go, bring your hot crew over, <laughs> gutter guy. I was, a, I'm. But he I'm said, a, I'm going to be here this Saturday. Yeah. And then he says, uh, he's. And then he said and then October, October mid-October. Sa Saturday. Well, maybe we should call somebody else. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know how to do everything. You know how to install a gutter? I can. I told you I can do it. All I need to do is get it cut to, to the right length. I'll, I'll install it. Tony and I will install it. You should see. We, you watch the Daily Smash. You'll see our home improvement project. We mounted a 75-inch TV outside. Tony is a genius. And like he knew exactly where to put the, the new box to plug it in through the wall to where the other box and inside is and like the did guy you learn? is huh did you learn i'm not gonna say i could do it myself this like i can do a lot of things yeah but electrical is like next level is it it is i mean that's a trade it's a craft i mean they all are but electrical is tricky yeah. and and he's really good so yeah. anyway that's on the smash we're going to show that <laughs> um Vicky, after the massage story, confronts Jen and she says, you have five kids. You should have made it work and not be with this new guy. I Rick, said she overstepped. Rick, Rick, Rick thinks that she was out of line. Vicky is like mother hen. She is like somebody that comes from a place of love and good advice and only looks out for people. She doesn't want anything bad for anyone. She didn't mean it like to overstep. She was trying to give her advice, being you know older and wiser and experienced. Mm -hmm. So I don't think she came from a place of hate. I think she came from a place of love. Well, Gina then went after Vicky, and I know Gina already doesn't like Vicky because no, they Vicky don't like each other. was talking smack about how Gina didn't belong on that well, remember show. Remember when, when when Vicky came over the, uh, last month and yeah. she was like, "I can't stand that hunchback." <laughs> I should, probably shouldn't laugh at that. I don't know. Um, but, but you don't think Vicky was out of line, or do you think she was out of line? It was not her place. Um, yeah. Even though I say what I think on the top of my head, um, it's none of my business. Yeah. That's her life. It's not mine, and she's not my daughter. So, you know, let people live their own life. Make, have them make their choices. We just got a full year patron. You got a 10% discount when you sign up for the full year. Woo! Um, Jen wants to see a shaman. And you know what? I think that shaman cursed them all. <laughs> because. Uh, Who? I think that shaman cursed them all. Oh, cursed them all. Yeah. Oh, how so? Tamara is the devil. Yeah. Um, that didn't work. Nope. Uh, she didn't get her daughter back. She said she wanted to get rid of hate in her heart. And you were like, you're a liar. She's such a liar. <laughs> she didn't even tell you what happened to her. And you had her on the phone with her because she doesn't trust your ass. Yeah, that's 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 that speaks telling. volumes, okay? Uh, Vicky, before they go, says Shannon has toilet paper Someone sticking out her butt. Someone needs to get a hold of that Tamara and make her. Because she acts like she's so tough and accountable. Uh -huh. and, and not accountable. She acts like she's like, I'm a bulldog. Like... Throwing napkins at people. I would just get, I would love to get one little freaking showdown moment. with that w moment oh, with her. That would be epic. Mm -hmm. um, so Vicky Everyone's said. Everyone's scared of her. I'm not scared of her. <laughs> that freaking saggy skin uniboob. No, let, uh -uh. let me tell you right now, there is no question who would win that fight. Well, I'm way taller than her. Oh, I'm 5'8". She's like 5'1". You're also and really tall. she weighs tough. like 90 pounds. I don't care how much she works out. You're going to kick her butt. Yeah, look at that. And you're not even trying. <laughs> I, need to go to the, I need to go to the vet because these puppies are sick. They sure are. Oh, you're talking about your arms. Uh, Vicky says Shannon had toilet paper sticking out her butt? Yeah. That was funny. Well, that's happened to all of us from time to time. Oh, really? I mean, up your butt, but 
somewhere. Tamara says Vicky didn't brush her teeth for four days and has dragon breath, so they get her a toothbrush. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna lie, but Shannon does have bad breath. But I don't think it's from not brushing teeth, I think it's from the gut health. Oh, she always has it? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, Oof. She's and then she talks this close to you, and then when she gets this close. Oh, I should know people she like, goes like that. She goes like this, she gets this close to you, and you're like this. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Excellent, just excellent demonstration. Um, that's a bad combination of stank breath and close talking. She's close talks, and so she close, and she's like, and then you'll speak, and she'll be like, you say 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 something. Hey Kelly, how's how's it going? <laughs> I used to know somebody she who would do that, that close talking. She'd be like this. Yeah, oh my then, god! And then you know what and, happened after that? I'm like, what? And then and it, it, you, you smell her face? breath, and then you she's and then you go like this. Um, I think it's funny. Oh, so then the Heather thing starts to surface where she says she's being attacked and she just yeah. wants to go home. And, and the way she speaks like this, look. Like, and then I don't know where everything is going. And they don't like me at all. No. <laughs> she must have learned that in acting school. <laughs> I, mean, I, think, that's how I think you do it better than she does. <laughs> it's so annoying. Like, like, who wants to be around somebody who acts like that? I'm uh, sorry. It's just, it, it's she's, fake. She's pretentious it's and full, full of, you know what. Yeah. Um, was it Shannon who wouldn't walk on that net to the table and, like, got on her knees and was, like, crawling on that bridge? Yeah, she's neurotic. And then Vicky also was having a problem with getting Vicky's over... Vicky's very clumsy, as you well she is. you've seen. Yes. Like, it's not a fake thing. It's the truth. Why was Emily wearing a crown? Because she wants attention. <laughs> she's, like, Vic one of those girls that was a dork, and she, like, wants to be popular, and so she wants to be seen, and she's just... Uh, Vicky says she'd marry Mike. Tamara starts shit with Heather about Shannon and John, and then they all gang up on Heather. And then Heather reveals that Tamara was the one talking shit about Emily and Gina yes. and not Shannon. Right. Because initially she threw Shannon under the bus and said she was the one talking about these other ladies. Yes. And they all went after Shannon. And then Heather's like, oh, no, it wasn't Shannon. It was Tamara. Yeah. Well, that's the very believable yeah i believe it so that obviously v v upset emily and gina very much and then they go after <coughs> heather hard oh vicky gets up she says i i don't want to be around people fighting i can't take it and then they showed a montage of vicky screaming at people i know well i think <coughs> when you get off these shows you get a sense of like um I normalcy was on that normalcy and I would, if I were to do it over, I wouldn't do it like this. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's um, kind of eye awakening. And, you know, she's like, life is too short. Vicky has changed. She's like, things, you know, I've gotten older and I want love and peace and life is too short. I don't want to fight anymore. Well, good for her. It is unhealthy. Uh, and then Gina leaves. After Vicky leaves, Gina leaves because Heather called her a loser. And then Heather leaves. So they're all getting up and leaving and it's a big scene. If someone called me a loser, like like Gina, she got all mad, pissed off. If someone called me a loser, which they do all, every day, all day, every day. No. All day. <laughs> um, I, I'd be like, okay, she called me a loser. So what? I know I'm not. Like, I know I've accomplished a lot in my life. Uh -huh. I've, I've, I've attained goals that most people haven't. And yes. I know I'm not a loser. No, you're not. What? Why Gina knows that she's a loser, see? <laughs> Why are you speaking the truth about me? Yeah. Um, but Heather says, I'm done with the show. She, she said it more than once, I'm done with the show. She didn't want to take part in any more of these group things in, in Mexico, well, and she basically that, that's is what quitting I said. on camera. That's what I said to, uh, to, to Vicky. Yeah. I go, why would, if you are worth $500 million, uh -huh. why would you subject yourself to this you had a horrible time last seat last last year horrible the worst okay people were coming after you hard and then you come into it again and you hate it so much 
and you're so rich, the only reason why you do this for two things, money or fame, or you she's want to be noticed. She's a narcissist. She, she's hungry for fame. Right. Hungry. She wants people to watch her and know who she is. I'm telling is. you right now, if I had that much money, I'd be like, I'm not doing that shit again. <laughs> the only reason I do is for why money. Why would you? Yeah, it's like, ridiculous. It, it's ridiculous. Like, why would you subject yourself to this? I don't know. Huh? Uh, but she yeah, is. I'm just sitting on my millions being like, look at this. I'm on vacay. Uh-huh. I'm enjoying my house and my kids. Well, how about, yeah, spending more time with your family? That would be good. Well, so funny. My cousin Tony's here. He's like, I see him at Mastro's every single week. I, I, I guess they still live in OC. Yeah. And they go, they never talk to each other. And we're like, we said that too. Like, they never, like, speak to Oh, and really? And they're never with their children. They're never with their kids. Not that I'm not with Julie all the time, but I am. But I have my mother there. I don't think I have a nanny is taking care of her. She's yeah. left alone. You know, I have a family member. And they also sit at the same table every time. And they my grandma right in the middle me, of the room. The they have to sit right in the middle of the room on the same table. Do mm-hmm. they not? Or have you seen them at different tables? Who? Heather and Oh, yeah, Terry. they sit in the same table. Yeah. Well, uh, four hours later, the Trace Amigas are dancing on the bar. And, and, so, and you know what just bothers me? Doing shots. You know what just bothers me so much? What? Is I... No, I shouldn't say, but my inkling, I don't know for sure, is that they don't like Tamara, and here she is in the middle, and they're, like, squeezing her, and it's like, I know they don't like her. It's business. It's business. It's business. That's it. But Tamara says she's going to reevaluate her friendship with Heather. Was she ever friends with Heather, really? No. Of course not. No. Remember when she would talk bad about her? She was like, oh, I'm going to get her this season. Remember? Yeah. Like, she got on... And she's like, I'm going to get her this season. They never spoke ever. Yeah. Next week is the season finale, and we will bring you our recap of that next week. And it looks like the Heather thing comes to a bigger head. Wait, real quick. Doesn't doesn't Shannon look like Jennifer Coolidge in White <laughs> kinda, Orchid? Kind of. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Like, doesn't she remind you what of What does her? Jennifer Coolidge sound like again? The gays are trying to kill me. Um, John doesn't like me anymore. We hope you enjoyed our recap of The Real Housewives of Orange County, episode 15. So they're going to get 16 episodes. That's it. That was the the minimum guarantee. It's usually 17. No, this is 15. Next week is 16, and it's the season finale. Okay. And then they're doing the reunion. And I think I heard it was a three-parter. Yeah. Well, anyway, so that's the total of 19. Uh, that means they didn't get paid for 21. We usually used to do, except COVID, we would do 21 20, episodes. That's awesome. And you get paid per episode. Yeah. Um, check out our Smash. We think you'll love it. And uh, go check out our Rick and Kelly show on Patreon. And thank you guys very much for watching. Kisses.